Whether it's sweet or bitter, we are always with Al Ahli, who's gonna soar once again despite all pressures and continue writing its glorious history. It's Yumna Atwa, and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. A Gala's draw in Suez. Musimani, I'm not disappointed with the effort that the players put in. Abdul Hafiz, I'm not making excuses, but we are not treated fairly. Al Ahli issue an official statement. Al Ahli were held to Ogola Straw on Tuesday against Salah Agaish at Omi Stadium in Suez in match the 31 of the Egyptian Premier League. All our attempts to score across the 90 minutes were blocked by a gauge defenders and goalkeeper. We were denied a clear goal after the ball crossed the goal line, but the referee did not allow the goal. Petsu Musimani Al Ahli's head coach spoke about our game against Salah Agaish in match the 31 of the Egyptian Premier League, saying, I'm very disappointed with the results, but I'm not disappointed with the effort that players put in. We wanted to win and we tried from the first minute to score, but we failed to find the net. To be honest, we cannot talk much about the tactics in this game. I think Al Ghesh's goalkeeper was very good and many of our crosses were easy for him. As I said before, I don't speak about any referee. He's an experienced referee. Maybe he could not see from where he is. Yes, as Gore, he relied on his linesman and on other three VAR referees to make his decision. They all made a decision, so we have nothing to do. It's very painful when situations like that happen because it takes effort and emotions from everybody. Sayyid Abdul Hafiz Al Ahli's director of football commented on the team's goal this throw against Salah Agesh on Tuesday. We were not denied a clear goal tonight. We were denied two points after the referees did not allow Yasser Ibrahim's goal. Four years ago, Mohamed Bassouni, the VAR referee of tonight's match, whistled a penalty against us and it was not a right decision. Tonight, he should have called the referee to watch the incident and make a decision, but he did not. I'm not making excuses, but we are not treated fairly. The league title is a very precious and valuable title for us. During the whole league campaign, the VAR was called on only four or five matches. We are disappointed by the result and we apologize to our fans as we missed many chances to be in a better position. Al Ahli Sporting Club have released an official statement addressing the Egyptian Football Association EFA and the Referees Committee of the EFA. The club does not have a clear explanation for the repeatable mistakes which occurred. Such mistakes play an important role in Al Ahli losing 15 points in our title race. Given the lack of justice in our league matches, we are waiting for the EFA's response to our request regarding assigning foreign referees for our matches in the Egyptian Cup and the Egyptian Super Cup. The club will cover the cost of bringing in foreign officials. We are also waiting for defensive solutions to the mistakes of the referees before the start of the new season to provide equal chances for all the competing teams. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Hatwa. See you next week.